On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you the best free DAW for sampling. The Sequence. If you have any further questions about this software, I do have a playlist that will be listed at the top right of the screen. I have plenty of videos on it and feel free to leave a comment below of anything else you want to learn. But uh, today we're going to sample in here because people ask me a question and I'm going to use vinyl. And for those who don't know, I got a vinyl set up here and that's what we're going to use. So let's go ahead and set it up first though. So setting up your preferences for your sound card is essential if you want to sample. Right, so we're gonna go into this screen right here. Let's go ahead and start from right here. Uh, file for these three lines, and then we're gonna go to edit and then preferences here. And you will set up your audio settings right here. So I have my audio settings set up to my MPC because your MPC can be used as an audio interface. Does it mean that you need an MPC? It does not mean that you need an MPC. Just use your ASIO drivers for your audio interface. You can use Focusrite or whatever else that you have. There's plenty of drivers out there, plenty of different audio interfaces. Just try one. So we have one set up here. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and hit OK. And now we are right here on the money. So the next thing we're gonna do is go up here to the top left part of the screen and you can hit Control plus eight or you can hit this sign that is a record. So you'll actually see right here, uh, you can hear my voice coming through here because I have it set up to where it will record in a certain manner inside of the MPC or my audio interface. Don't worry about all that. So the next thing you wanna do if you do not see anything is make sure that you click the right input. So just experiment with the right input for your audio interface. If you have vocals or anything like that, you might wanna play a record or something. Uh, it it might vary for different people. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is put my record on. So I have a record. Of course, I told you what it was, Cuphead. We're gonna get it popping. Let's go. So now we have everything sorted out. You can actually see that the monitoring is off right now. You can turn the monitor on and you can hear your vocals or whatever you're trying to sample. Uh, but for the most part, you can see that it's monitoring, but you wanna make sure that you have the right things going for it. So you wanna select the input of some sorts, uh, one, two, three, four, whatever it is on your sound card until you got everything going. So I just have uh, input one going because it's a mono and you know I can get everything I want out of it. So uh, you also can insert effects too as well. If you want certain effects before you sample inside of here, you can put that on the record or whatever source that you're trying to sample from. Now, it's just very simple. It's really easy because uh, also you have a threshold too as well. If you uh, have a certain point that you wanna record, if I was to hit arm and be quiet and I start talking, then it starts recording. You see the sample length. And as it records, you see everything that you have. And if I think if you press play, I start talking, then it starts recording, you see the simple. See that? And everything is good to go. So if you don't like it, of course, you just hit this card or you can hit keep. But right now we're gonna discard it uh, because we got a record to sample, right? So let's go ahead and sample that vinyl. So I'm good with all that. Let's go ahead and hear that again. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna name this Cuphead because it's from the Cuphead soundtrack. So Cuphead OST. Uh, I just usually name it whatever the groove was that I sampled it from and the actual album that I sampled it from too as well so I don't forget just in case. And then you can assign it to a pad or something like that or, or to a new program or no program at all. I have program one open, it's empty, so I could do that, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna select keep and it's gonna go into your sample pool right here. So you can uh, play with it and then you can just take that sample and do other things like sample edit, boom. So now we're in sample edit. Uh, we can chop things up and I have full video on how to chop samples and stuff like that just in case you want that. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this process. All right, so here's something that's a cool concept that I haven't talked about yet, and that is the looper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a shaker to the track here, but I'm gonna use the auto looper here. So I'm gonna go to a new track. I'm just gonna name it something shaker. And then I'm gonna go over here. And then I will go to the looper feature. So now that I have my shaker right here, you can hear it. Uh, I'm gonna go and create a new program and I'm gonna name the program like, I don't know, extra. It's gonna name it extra for right now. And I'm gonna add everything I do in the looper inside of there. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. I just go to the looper, hit record, hit record on your current track that you're on, and then just go ahead and do it. Now, now since you recorded a loop in, uh, what you can do here is this right here. Uh, it has a feature called export. So what I'm gonna do is hit export, uh, go to a program, I'm gonna go to the program called extra, and then I'm gonna select a pad. I'm gonna select the pad, I can use the pad on here, assign to pad, assign to pad one here. You can also name the sample, but I'm not really tripping out that. So I just hit do it. And now it should be there. Uh, when I'm ready to lay other things out of too as well. Uh, you can also clear anytime you have something that you want to add to the track, you can hit clear. So I'm going to hit clear and I'm going to do some claps. I'm going to go ahead and name this clap so that people won't be confused in the comments and stuff like that, which I'm pretty sure you will be anyways, but still. Now, you can set the bars too as well. Like you can set it to be four bars and you know, you can also overdub too as well. That's one thing too. If you wanna overdub dub something, that you can do that as well. So what I'm gonna do here is just hit record and then hit record on the looper. And now let's record. export that out and same process again. All right, so I'm gonna record everything into the grid now that I just recorded in the looper and this is just an easy way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press R and then spacebar. All right, so I'm gonna speed things up on this track a little bit cause I can't live with it. <laughs> So I'm gonna go up to a little bit higher in BPM. Okay, so I couldn't live with the way the drums were sounding. I'm sorry, I had to correct something. So let me go ahead and just add some swing here. Here's a little quick tip here. If you wanna add swing, but you wanna stay on beat with the quantize. Tell me how you feel about this video. Yeah, MPC Beast strikes again. 
Yeah, you can sample inside of there. At first, I thought you could not. I thought that was one of the limitations, and then I looked it up, asked a few people. It turns out that certain Ozio drivers doesn't work with the MPC Beat software, and you know, that is just weird because my Acheria uh, Audio Fuse Studio actually does work with the MPC software, but it doesn't work with the free software. But again, you can report that with the forum button at the bottom right of the DAW. So if your DAW doesn't work with your audio interface, just make sure that you report it and that way Akai can get everything fixed for the next update and you never know what else will get thrown in there. And that's what I'm really excited about. It's like very early, you know, it's the software is at a pretty good place. It could be a little better, of course, but I definitely want to hear from you guys what you want as far as new updates and stuff like that. But yeah. Sampling, 